Typical problem of Honda, especially older engines, that at the startup, especially when it's cold engine, at the startup, the RPM will go up to like uh, 2000. Two thousand, three thousand, and uh, stay there for like five or ten minutes, depending on the cold uh, outside temperature, coldness, and then slowly comes down. It also causes rough idle, hesitation, all these kind of problems. So there's the ISC, which uh, most of the time we talk about the ISC, idle air control valve here. We can take it off and clean it. That's one thing that's electrically controlled. If there's anything wrong, it'll give a uh, check engine light. But there is also fast idle control valve, fast idle controller. If you take the uh, intake uh, intake um, off here, the, I, I took it off already. So either it's right here or some engines, some throttle body is right at the back here. You'll see there's a cap that looks like this app looks like this so this one goes on the side or at the bottom here back or at the bottom so there are three pins so this one was here there are three bolts number 10 millimeter that goes from the bottom if it's at the bottom if it's at the back it's easier actually to replace it move or take it off and then remove it and there are two bolts here which are eight millimeter which was the the cover was there so it was uh, just covered like that oops it's falling so we took it off so this thing clogs up and uh, gives problem. Now the issue with this is, first of all it was leaking right here, I can see. So this ring has to be replaced, this thing has to be cleaned in there. This is uh, spring loaded, cleaned thoroughly. This is coolant line, coolant in, coolant out. This is not electrical, the way it works is when the coolant is cold, this channel stays open fully. As the coolant turns warmer, this air passage closes. That's the valve right there. So this is thermal. This is not electrical device. This will not generate any uh, check engine light, but this will cause a lot of hesitation, rough idle, this kind of problems. So one way to resolve it is which I'll try, I think, is just shut off this one. So put a aluminum foil in this one, in this hole, and then install it back. So coolant can still flow, but air cannot go. Air cannot get sucked from the uh, intake. So just shut off this channel, and the cold start shouldn't rave to two or 3,000 RPM. It should just go up to 1,500, 2,000 and come down, right down to 1,000 and slowly to normal idle. And the ISC, the other one, is this one. That one controls the idle more when the engine temperature is higher. So try that. And this should actually cause the uh, stop the rough idle I'll uh, clean this up and then I'll actually block it no matter what I'll block it and then install it okay hope this helps so this is fast idle fast idle uh, the valve this is broken anyway take, take the opportunity to clean the throttle body right there Clean all the holes. Spray.
open this and uh, I already cleaned all this so this is how to stop the rough idle or high idle at the startup so this is what it looks like inside clean it thoroughly you can push it in clean it from this side clean it from the side and I'm gonna actually make some uh, put some gasket maker to seal it and so this is how it is I put a little bit of a gasket maker uh, because I'm gonna deactivate this thing by blocking that channel with a piece of aluminum foil like this I uh, folded it three four times and then I'm gonna put it right there so if it doesn't the reason I'm gonna keep this sticking out is if it doesn't work we need this idle to be back I'll just loosen these three balls and pull this thing out so it works fine at the end again but I'm gonna try with uh, by blocking this fully and see if it makes any difference or better now I'm gonna put it back on so you put this back in uh, ignore this wire this is for something else anyway this is how uh, kept the aluminum foil so if this doesn't work I'll just release these balls and pull it out and then tighten so now we're gonna give it a start so this is the opportunity to clean all this throttle body and uh, as I showed you inside it's all nice and clean so open it a few times and clean brush it as well as uh, through these holes and if possible you can actually open this and open this screw with a flat head before you open you have to know how many number of turns you're opening first mark where the um, head is mark with a marker and then number of turns you have to know turn it off uh, uh, crank it out and then spray through this hole too that's the air channel this is a controller control valve so is idle control So uh, now we're gonna start it. Go ahead, start. Started. Raving not too high. It gave a little hard start because of the uh, throttle body cleaner that I sprayed in there. That's normal. So, so far it's idling very nice actually. Hear the sound? Very nice. So, we'll see if uh, we'll go for a test drive and see if it works out well. Hope this helps. This is the H22A, by the way. The idle is very steady. The engine is actually running a lot better. A lot quieter and better than before. So oh, this is it, it feels a lot better actually. The car is flying now. Pause it. 
so that's it the uh, car ran beautiful actually with that uh, fast idle controller deactivated uh, before it would go to 2000 3000 5000 whatever and even on neutral it would get stuck at 2500 3000 uh, and stay there for a few seconds before it drops uh, now it smoothly goes smoothly goes up and down it doesn't get stuck anymore And it seems to be running a lot better actually. So hopefully that's it. That's a famous uh, Honda high idle issue. It's not the idle air control valve. It's the fast idle controller. So please uh, share and subscribe. Uh, without subscribers we cannot continue. So uh, hope this helps. Thank you.